This one's... Hey, guys. There's a lot going hey on. Um, Hello. Welcome back you. to the expanding of the dong. Damn it. I should have made that joke. I didn't... Whole LP, because it's just too easy not to. Yeah. So guys, of, welcome back to Expand Dawn 64. <laughs> 64 welcome back to DK 64, Dawn. guys. <laughs> I feel like an idiot for like not making the joke for the side, but make it anyway, making myself look even more dumb. So guys, all I did was I, I went back to um, Jungle Drake's and I got the um All I did was get the two banana fairies and that was it. For anyone wondering where they are, the one of the banana fairies is in the room that has the picture of DK Oil in Lanky's room where you fight the zingers. And the other one is in the le is in the pathway where you have to smash the Rambi wall, and you head down to the right where there's um where there's water and the other um banana fairies there. And now let's yeah. head back to Angry Aztec because we got work to do. Angry Aztec. AKA Ogre from Tekken. Oh yeah, let me show you guys something. Um, Alternatively, um, call the con. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back here, but. I just found a dumb Yu Gi Oh card. Oh, here's track number three, which is kind of pointless. Okay, so cybers type are all based around computers and networking and stuff, mm -hmm. right? So there's one here called Date Data Corn, like Date Data Acorn, and it's a little acorn with a USB plug sticking out of its ass. Okay. It's like an a it's an acorn with arms and an upside down acorn with eyes, arms, and legs, and it has a USB port sticking out of its butt. Okay, you guys have to see the few of these scattered about. But the special ability that the um, Banana Fairy Queen gave us... Watch. Flame buffer that, flow, like that, buffering. Lady that debug. Coin, <laughs> that coin you guys seen... Um, I actually got it right today, which is why Squawks didn't show up, because Squawks shows up and says what it is. So, my bad. But I'm, that I'm coin, sorry. That coin is a special coin, and it give, basically that coin gives eat all of the Kongs five coins each. Which is kind of nice. I'm sorry guys, I love the flute work in this cave. Um, so what exactly are we missing here? Okay, quite a bit actually. Apparently. Oh god. Um. Okay, we got three for him. One for him. None for her. And two for him. Okay. Oh wait a minute. We got one over here. Oh, about fucking trap tricks. That's a weird archetype, man. Whoops. Also, Cyber. Why does he have white hair? We punch. never even hit him. Yet. White hair. What is he? An anime enemy? Are you fighting anime? Still because black. Really Let's fighting the uh, anime. Oh, 
All right, guys, watch. Want to be a bit redundant? Player. <laughs> oh, I forgot that happened. Um, well, you guys seen the last last episode where you managed to get one of the banana fairies in here, but me trying to remember where the second one is. <laughs> it's my memory, guys. What related life forms in this series? The last game had banana birds. Yeah. I actually do like the uh, the uh, banana fairies in here. Well, must be honest, they're still kind of cute. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Donkey Kong Country uh, five or uh, Donkey Kong Country six, featuring Bana B Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, that's... what if in the next Donkey Kong Country Bananyan just shows up? That's for tiny. <laughs> This is for Chunky, I believe. Yep. Oh! Stupid clap traps. And I don't know why, but as you guys seen like, in the uh, previous cutscene when we came here, for some reason, uh, Karul has... Five, uh, f I, five giant, I, uh, silver bottle cap looking things, I, uh, on the, behind him, and each, and they all have the Kong's faces, so that's kind of weird. Okay, um, how do we do that? Okay, 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 okay. Let me show you guys something here. This statue? We're not done with it yet. Um, okay, so we gotta go over this way. Out, finally, 60 FPS for using this thing. Whoa, they made a new fucking Neos card? Damn. <laughs> Guys, watch. See? Oh, new junk? Yeah, this is something else Diddy has to do. And I think he gets a golden banana for this. Oh shit. Not only do we get a golden banana, we're flying through that guy's um, ring that he got on his head. Or the sun ring, I assume. But I believe we get a golden banana just by feeding this thing to mm, peanuts. Yeah, for some reason, this guy's main guy is peanuts. Is it an elephant? No, it's a, like a tower made of stone. You ever have those, um, those like gummy, like circus peanut thingies? Oh, those marshmallow peanuts? Yes. Those things are fucking delicious. Date in the back. Oh, yeah, and this thing slowly spins up faster and faster than the peanut. Nailed it. Faster, faster, eat the fucking peanuts. Here we go. Here we go! Okay, so we don't get a uh, golden banana for this. Whoa! Okay, frame rate just tanked. Oh, let's see if I can do this like a boss. Oh, freaking nailed it! Okay, good. Ah! Got a monster to the face. That's, yeah, that's always nice. Haze is 
Oh, right here. Now, you guys remember that crosshair looking thing from DKC3. Oh yeah, that motherfucker. Who wants to hear him speak? Oh yeah, he talks in this, eh? Oh, this is lovely. Oh, that, wow, that was a double ricochet, but somehow he managed to hit him in the head. Okay, I head down this way. Number one's a green. Oh, drug dead! Remember the TNT guys from uh, DKC32? Yeah, they're back. TNT! TNT! I would not fight! TNT! And did you guys hear this music? Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Okay, guys. I'm gonna, be I'm gonna be quiet for a second, because I want you guys to hear something. Very, very quiet. Yeah. Get out. That is Crosshair. The same guy that you guys have seen in DKZ3. That's his voice. Yeah, it's kind of unnerving, or oh, it's pretty unnerving when you're playing this as a, uh, a, uh, a 12-year-old kid, let's be honest. Yeah. Get out. I think each one of those, like, if he manage, if Crosshair manages to land a successful hit on you, I believe you lose a quarter of your health, I believe, yeah, I believe you lose two pieces instead of one. Okay. Here comes not a banana. <laughs> he just kicked a... I'm sure that was no one's bomb. Must have been uh, like a dog. Must have been a dog. He just kicked it to the bucket. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay. And that's DK done in here. I think so. Okay, so we still have 10 more bananas belonging to him. Well, one thing I might do is I might have a little later. Let's go and get Diddy done. Uh, Diddy done? Let's get Diddy done. Oh! There's a, uh, a uh, banana balloon in here for But I believe I need to be over here to see it. I know there's one in here. Did it disappear or something? It wouldn't make any sense that it would. Unless I already got it. I find it funny that like, each one of the, um, the, uh, the, uh, banana pads, like, they're all 
Uh, they're all colored as the, uh, uh, the same colors that the um, Kongs are designated. Alright, five is DK for being yellow. Uh, what one's... Four is red for Diddy. Um... No, wait, one is blue, Flanky. Two is green. Yeah, two is green. For the last hunger to get. What? What? Haha, you're what? probably getting it. What? Oh, great. We got fucking clumps in here. What? What? Now oh, we gotta get out of here. Get out. Out of my way, you bumbling idiot. Coming! I mean, it's quite easy to get, it's rather easy to get out, but like I said, it's still pretty unnerving to hear that voice. Let me check something. Okay. Today. This is colors, so my so they're kinda a bit mixed up. Okay, um let's see. Wait. Okay, so we got this. Guys, give me a second. Why? Oh god. I will inhale that shit. Uh, so, uh, what are you doing? That chicken of me. Okay, well, let's head over to Snides in style. Let's fly over there. <laughs> thank what you, Lord. It? Thank you, Lord Ronald, for this glorious meal I'm about to eat. Now I'm thinking of Lisa, where they actually do pray to your best food mascot. That's why I'm getting fucking fucked up. Actually, everything in Lisa, the painful, is fucking fucked up. But the Wally fight's fucking creepy. Okay. Hey guys, I doubt that I'm going to be like I basically backlogging some um, blueprints because I, like I said, I want to be able to get every single golden banana in every single level. So I mean, you gotta get the golden bananas. So yeah. Um, when we get all the golden bananas for uh, for level I mentioned this last episode, but yeah, when we get uh, golden bananas for a uh, level, when we get all of them, um, I'm going to be um, now if there's anything missing, uh, if there's any bananas or anything missing, I'll do it on my own time. Off screen. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say get this get. If it's not, if it's like a side thing. And you ain't really missing it. I recommend missing anything. I recommend you just get it all free, save time. Cause there's a lot of things to collect in these games. Yeah, yeah. Not a bit. That was the main complaint I think with this was there's too much fucking shit to get. It's just one big collectathon. But yeah, yeah. People really like um, Banjo Kazooie. The Banjo games. Yeah. And, That's uh, what I don't get, cause they're the same thing as this. Yeah, and Conquer's Bad Fur Day, like both of those games have received like amazing reviews, but this game get got shot on. I recommend you do Banjo Kazooie, by the way, cause I don't know if it's like this, you will probably like it. If it's anything like this, and from what I hear, it is. So, and then Conquer is pretty much this, but with uh, a lot more raunchiness and dirty jokes and gore. God, that should be interesting. <laughs> Fucking 
We should totally play that. That'd be fun. Come on, that, camera. You can yes. That game's not. Okay. Mm. Okay, so there's blue bananas over that way. As long as it's not a blue waffle. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, don't Google that, and by the way, if you do Google it, it's fake. It's Photoshop. None of that shit's actually real. It's not a real thing. It's an internet thing people made. It's like the fucking... You ever go on, like, Facebook? Pictures of, like, people that look like they have, like, bugs coming out of their skin, and they're, like, covered in holes and shit? Mm -hmm. That's just a fucking, um... A, uh, like, a plant. Like, a weird, like, a water lily or something. Oh, oh yeah, like that honestly, like, when I seen, I, I know it's fake, but just seeing just like how well yeah, it's done. Yeah, I like, how, when I first saw them, they cre- Yeah, yeah it, 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 just, of, it just makes you cringe. Yeah, it makes a lot of people cringe, that's why they made that shit. And when I first saw it, it freaked me out, but then when I realized it was just a Photoshop trick, I was like, uh... It's, yeah, it's like, like, it's, uh, trichophobia, which is, like, a fear of holes. Or, like, specific patterns, like a honeycomb pattern. Like, it doesn't really, like, scare me, it just weirds me out. It's just kind of unsettling, it's just yeah. kind of crazy. Which, you know, I, I always thought that shit was stupid, you know, just, yeah. And you see them all the time. Even to this day. God damn, that coffee tastes good. I don't care if it's 8 o'clock at night. I'm drinking this coffee and I'm enjoying it. Mm. Okay. But the staff wants Transformers all night. So I got a new Cyberverse and I got, um... I'm gonna watch. Wait, what is that? Did I just see a balloon? Okay, I'm officially losing my mind. might watch that movie, because, um... I found out they recently put out a Constantine movie that's set in the DC animated uh, universe. Uh, and, like, the animated movie verse that I've been watching, they put out a, uh, Constantine movie. Constantine's fucking cool. I mean, he's an asshole, but he's cool. Um, that's his whole gimmick, is he's an asshole fucking sorcerer. But he's great. <laughs> okay, now, now I know I've there's a lot of trees on here that has Lincoln's bananas on it. Yeah, he's been in a lot of the, uh, the new Justice League Dark stuff and that uh, Wonder Woman crossover. I, I might watch that tonight. Um, I don't know. Well, Hell, tomorrow I got more comics to read. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, I really do not know why everything is like lagging and glitching out right now. By the way, in case you didn't know, I'm a huge DC fanboy. Good. <laughs> I was just gonna say something in response to that, but you can you can pretty much guess what it was gonna be. You were gonna reference Marvel or Iron Man to counter me? No. It was gonna be mentioning something about art. Mm, okay. <laughs> took, took the high road on that one, I see. Okay. Um. I like Marvel too, honestly. I'm not like one of those DC fans that says, oh, Marvel sucks. Um, there's this. I, I ain't really currently reading anything anymore because I ain't that much of a person on it. And what does is like so deep and hard to get into. I'm like, eh. Like, I wouldn't mind reading some of the better Spider Man stories and some of the Deadpool stuff. Maybe some Iron Man, but. 
Those are the three Marvel. from Marvel I always... Those are the three from Marvel I always gravitate toward. X-Men a bit too, X-Men a bit too. Um, certain versions, like the 90s X-Men mainly, but that's the one everyone likes. But, um... So I, I thought they were cool. And then, like, uh, Spider-Man's always been cool. A lot of Venom's cool. Carnage is cooler. Carnage is fucking sick. I love Carnage. He's my favorite Spider-Man villain. Have you seen the uh, trailer for the, uh, or say the trailers for the uh, new Venom movie? Um, I haven't, but I've seen the Eminem music video. Eminem made a song for the movie. <laughs> And at the end, he gets the symbiote, and it turns into him, which is fucking cool. Okay, so I'm gonna be bringing DK out here in a second. Yeah, that, that uh, Carnage is fucking cool. I like Carnage. And it's like, okay, let's take a complete psychopathic serial killer with no morals, and give him a hyper-powerful alien suit, and see oh. what happens. <laughs> oh god. Well, that's Carnage's whole thing. Is like, um, it's Carnage is technically Venom's son in a weird way because it the symbiotes reproduce like cells, like they just kind of split off, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that is like when uh, Eddie Brock, the host of Venom, was in jail. His cellmate was Cletus Cassie, this this crazy ass serial killer, mm -hmm. and um. After he got out, or got broke out, or when the Venom symbiote came and broke him out, it left a piece of itself and that turned into Carnage. And there's a bunch of other symbiotes too, I think Carnage has one called Toxin, and that's... There's like a bunch of other ones, but um... Yeah, the symbiote stuff and all that stuff. Is some of the cooler stuff in Spider-Man I like. You know, as a matter of fact, Spider-Man, I can't wait to, um, one movie I have watched the trailer for that I can't wait to see is that new, uh, Enter the Spider-Verse movie. Mm -hmm. Where it's a, it's an animated movie. And it looks really cool. It's got a really unique visual style to it. Like, it's CG, but it looks, it's hard to describe. And it's being, uh, directed by the guys who did the Lego movie. Oh! Yeah. Uh, Chris Miller and, uh, Phil Lord, I believe, were their names? Um... So, yeah, the, you already have a good team. And the trailers make it look dope, because it's basically the idea of, you go to the... Miles Morales, which is the Spider-Man in the Ultimate Comics, or was, before they fucking did a bunch of retcons and fucking reboots and shit. Hmm. But um, he was the one in that universe, and he was really popular, and he's really cool. And basically, it's about Peter Parker, the Spider-Man we all know, coming to his universe, and then a bunch of other Spider-Man showing Spider-Man showing up too. Mm. So you get um, Spider Gwen, who's really popular. Um, who is there's a character um, before Mary Jane, Spider-Man's love, love interest was Gwen Stacy, and basically there was a What If comic where, what if she got the spider, spider powers? And she got them, got a really dope costume, and got super popular, and got her own series, and now she's gonna be in this movie. Then there's Spider-Man Noir, which is kind of self-explanatory. Basically, Spider-Man, but like in the 20s or 30s, and he's oh. like a hard-boiled detective who uses guns, too. Um, Spider-Ham, a.k.a. Peter Porker. <laughs> That's cool. Um, I forget her name, but there's this uh, little anime girl, basically, who has a Spider-Man mech. From the Marvel Mangaverse, because they did do this thing called Mangaverse, where it's like Japanese interpretations of different characters. Mm. 
And I think she was the Spider-Man one, and she's like linked to this like Spider-Man robot. So it's basically just a bunch of different versions of Spider-Man in the movie, and it looks really cool. Um, when you said Spider-Ham, I thought you were going to say Spider-Pig. I, dude, I hope they reference that or make a joke about that. That's been a thing ever since Simpsons did it. Because ever since Simpsons did the Spider Pig gag in their movie, I think that's always been a thing with Spider Ham. Because that's like an old thing they did in probably like the 70s or something when comics were stupid. And it's exactly what it sounds. It's just. No, here's the funny thing. You would think it's a pig who got bit by a radioactive spider, but the story is actually even stupider. It's a spider who got bit by a radioactive pig. <laughs> Welcome to bonus stage. Okay. That's Spider Ham's origin story in his Swap universe. The flies. He's eight years to slaughter. I mean, you don't have to use a. You can use A, B, or C. Yeah, I, do been like a, I think it was a 60s or 70s thing, like Silver Age. Oh, yes. You ever want to laugh just Google Silver Age comics? Because there is a lot of really goofy, dumb shit they did back then. It's just hilarious. A lot of the really campy, silly, what the fuck am I even reading stuff. Like, as far as the two eras of comic books that are probably the best to laugh at, there's Silver Age for its ridiculousness, and then there's 90s. 90s because some of them just get so over the top, and so, like, just re over the top and, like, ridiculous and gritty and, like, try hard that they just become hilarious. So that's another good era of comics to laugh at. Alright, uh, so guys, that's good enough to do for this time. While Lanky juggles his bombs. So, um. Um. Uh, fire your Expand your dog. Slap, slap the like button with your expanded dong if you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, fire your coconut gun at the like button if you guys enjoyed. Check out our, pa our Patreon in the description below if you guys enjoy, or enjoy what, you, what you see, and, or enjoy what you saw, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. I didn't realize it until I just said it, but I kind of stole that from another YouTuber. <laughs> There's a YouTuber who, um, he doesn't do video videos anymore. Now he does, like, some really funny, like, comedy things. Like, little mini-movies that are really well, hilarious. Well, to be honest, I'm after standing up for things myself, too. So I can't say much.